Hey goodies, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Amani and I'm about to show you guys really quickly how I'm going to attempt to use a scarf to cover up my pipe cleaner curls as they marinate. Marinating means as they dry because I like to let my hair air dry, which I think helps keep my hair nice and thick and healthy, but I haven't done pipe cleaners in a year now, since like last summer. Um, they look great, but my hair has grown quite a bit since my chop um yeah so this is the length right now um in the back and then in the front it's like about here and i think when i cut it it was like just above my yeah my ladies so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i'm going to do this i'm going to tackle this by trying to make the pipe cleaner curls while they're still in the pipe cleaner curlers as flat as possible going back and i'm going to show you what that looks like it's primarily just focusing on the front part to make it flat because everything else you can just tie up in the headscarf also for a more detailed video on what products i use how long i leave the pipe cleaner curlers in and also how to make your own pipe cleaner curlers I already have a video on that, so I'm going to go ahead and link that below in the description box below, also somewhere up here. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. Um, yes, my hair is slightly damp. I like to section my hair off in half. Come so. And then I grab my pipe cleaner curler and I start from the front and work my way back. My sections are way smaller in the front than they are in the back. And this is how you set a pipe cleaner curler. You wrap the ends at the bottom around the base of your pipe cleaner curler and work your way up. I make sure there's enough tension, but not too much. And I curl it up and push the hair ever so slightly towards the base to ensure the curl is as tight as possible without damaging your hair, of course, but you have a lot of natural slip with the pipe cleaner curler because of the material used in pipe cleaners. And then I allow for about an inch or so of hair to be left out like this at the base and spin the hair towards the back and then secure the pipe cleaner curler. And the reason why I do that is so that there is not tension at the root of my hair, which is essential for when you are going to be maneuvering your hair underneath the scarf. So you see that extra bit of hair, you twist it so that it's not too tight. This is great for people who are also very tender headed like myself, and then you secure it. And I do that throughout the entirety of my hair. And this is what it looks like up close. So wrap, 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 push it down, and then you flip it, spin it, and secure that pipe cleaner curler. And as you can see, it's pretty limp when you have them all set and secure, but it doesn't hurt one bit. And this is also great for people who have thinner edges. So you use that same technique all throughout. This is what it looks like from the side. You can see it's already pretty flat. And for the sides of my head, I tend to like to work my way from the back to the front and the same method once you get there, leave a little bit of hair uncurled so you can twist it so it won't be too tight. And then you secure it. And you can see with this curl as well, it's pretty limp and loose, not too much tension. And it has enough give that you can maneuver your hair as you will see in a short moment. So this is what it looks like when they're all done. I used about, I believe 50 to 60 pipe cleaner curlers. And I use a bonnet underneath, preferably one that's close to your hair color. And then you grab your headscarf. This one is from a black owned headscarf business called Bonnie Black. And you get 30% off if you use this code at checkout. And I'll link this in the description box below. So now to maneuver the pipe cleaner curls, you lay them as flat as possible in between each other if necessary, but think about yourself putting a sleek low bun together. You want your hair as flat to your scalp as possible. That's why you don't make the pipe cleaner curlers too tight when curling at the root. And once you have it laid down enough, mostly on the front towards the crown, you put your bonnet on. This helps the pipe cleaner curlers not poke through your beautiful wrap and it doesn't look bumpy, and then continue to flatten a little bit as needed. Then I find the center of my headscarf or head wrap and start to maneuver it 
towards the front of my hair. I'm going to lay my edges so I push my bonnet back a little bit like this. Lay the wrap as close to the scalp as possible and in front of the bonnet so it doesn't show. Move it around my ears and then continue to maneuver it. And then we're gonna start with gathering it at the back, wrapping it around itself and you're going to start doing a twisting motion until it starts to naturally curl up on its own and you're able to start putting it in a little bun, just like this. So once you get enough, you twist and start wrapping it around itself. You'll start to feel the tension naturally and you just wrap it all the way to the end until you have it the way that you like it. And I'm gonna wrap all the way to the end and tuck the remaining pieces and then just shift it around so it's not too tight. Once you've fixed up your bonnet and wrap so that you don't see the bonnet, I like to use some type of edge control. I'm using Notorious Locks. You can use this code for 10% off. Um, the lock pomade does not leave any white residue for me. A little bit goes a long way and it's also another black owned business that I feature. So if you wanna see how I lay my edges in more detail, here's a tutorial. I'll also have that linked in the description box below, but my preference is Bonnie Black. And just look at that swoop, beautiful. And then you can continue to just tuck the bonnet if you keep seeing it and you're all done. This is the finished look. Maneuver the bun however you like it. I like mine to be lower so it doesn't poke me in the neck. <laughs> All right, goodies, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, comment down below, whatever else you want me to do. I have some amazing videos coming up already. So please, please, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can go ahead and know when I upload next. But as always, have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Bye, goodies.